Good morning, everybody. I'm so grateful to be able to be here to share this important moment with my son, Shekai. And everything started for his story anyway. In the year 1995, May 22nd. And of course, the seed was planted much, much earlier. But anyway. So, he is the first child of the family. And uh, in a big family. So he's, you know, he has all the attention and he's the first child for us. And as a parent, we, we have to learn how to be a parent as well. So it's a learning process. I still remember the time when he was one and a half year old. I decided to expose him to computers and buy computer games for him to learn. And today, he is the one who is teaching me how to play computer game. He has to teach me how to play Dota. So, as a parent, or as a person, I believe that um, everybody, everybody has free choice and free will. But as a parent, we know that a young child may not know the, the best consequence and we have to provide guidances. But as a child grows older, we have to learn to let go and let them exercise the free choice and the free will. It's a, it's, a, it's a difficult process. And when he was 30 years old, or 12 years old to be exact, he, he faced a choice to whether to continue to study in Malaysia in secondary school or in Singapore secondary school. So after much deliberation, he decided to come to Singapore. And at that moment, I have to make a choice as well. My choice is whether to let him make a free choice. <laughs> and I felt that he's mature enough to make a free choice. So that's why he is here. And uh, so I'm so happy that he is now embarking on his uh, journey, a new journey, a spiritual journey. And uh, may, may love be always be with him, uh, and may love be always be with him in his journey. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Um, I'm Wen Wei, Shekai's mom. Um, I'm a uni sister. Um, uh, I've stayed in uh, Kuala Lumpur for 18 years. But it's good to come back home and to see some old friends here. And just now, to, uh, what my husband say is true. Um, it's uh, a free choice for Shekai. Yeah. Today is very special for Kai and me. Yeah. And I thank God for his love, his grace, and the hope that he has given to uh, my family, Tasfa. I'm very, I'm filled with great gratitude towards God because he has helped Kai to make a very important and beautiful decision for himself. Um, Kai is a mature boy, like what my husband said, for his age. Yeah. He knows what he wants. When he requested to come to Singapore, um, actually we already turned him down twice. But he insisted. So, um, like my husband, he made his choice, he let go, yeah. And I did too, yeah. Um, so similarly, Kai knew when he was ready to study the Bible, and at that time when he spoke to me, I pray that he received good guidance, and God sent um, Brother George, and I thank you for Brother George's guidance over to <laughs> Roy and Katya. Um, I think it's really an important job to be So uh, thank you, George. Thank you, Roy. And thank you, Katya. Um, and also Katya's children. Yeah. Now, Kai chooses to be baptized with his own conviction because I'm a Eunice woman. So um, it is not because of tradition or because uh, he needs to follow mom. Yeah, it's not like that. Yeah. And like any other people who choose to be baptized, he go through struggles and temptation. And I believe that you all agree that today in the modern world, temptation for the youngsters are much more than our days. Um, but uh, Kai shared that um, during his sin study, he has the greatest impact and conviction. Um, he knows that God loves him so much that he is willing to forgive everything that he had done that is not right in his eyes and um, even like sending Jesus on the cross and he was very touched by that yeah and he was very 
kind of blown away that he can be so open to um, people in church and to his uh, mentor. He understood that God is love and love is the greatest. So um, today with God's blessing, yeah, I can definitely connect to Kai now. Yeah, I, I used to have a very bad relationship with him. Yeah. We can talk over a long distance call for three hours. Yeah. And I'm grateful for that. Yeah. Because um, it's not easy to get that from a boy. Yeah. I feel Kai has been become more respectful, considerate for others. He often nowadays he often asks me um, what other things he needs to improve. And it is not only me. But even my other family members, because we come from a big family, they also have seen Kai changes. And um, I think that it is meant for him to come to Singapore, because um, during his first year, God really helped him to understand that he needs God in his life. And I'm grateful for everything. Um, today, I want to dedicate Proverbs 21, 21 to Kai. He who pursues righteousness and love finds life, prosperity, and honor. And I love you, Kai. Right, then I got two questions for you. Do you believe that Jesus died on the cross, was buried, and was raised on the third day? Yes, I do. Wow. Thank you. 